In some situations, it is important to be exact when working with numbers. A cashier cannot say, your total is about $40. The cashier must tell you an exact amount, such as your total is $41.20. When being exact is not necessary, an estimate will do. An estimate is an approximation as to the value of something. An approximation is a guess that is close to being exact. When giving an estimate, you may find it helpful to round numbers. Rounded numbers are not exact, but they can be easier to use in calculations. Numbers are rounded based on place value, and they can be rounded to any place. Suppose you want to round the number 7 to the nearest 10. You can use benchmark numbers and the midpoint to help you. Benchmark numbers are numbers that are easy to remember and often end in zero. This list shows some benchmark numbers, including 0, 10, 20, and 30. Because the number 7 falls between the benchmark numbers 0 and 10, you can label a number line from 0 to 10. The midpoint, or halfway point, between the two benchmark numbers is the number 5. Is 7 above or below the midpoint? 7 is above the midpoint because it is greater than 5. Therefore, 7 would round up to 10 because it is closer to 10 than it is to 0. When a number is rounded up, the digit in the tens place increases by 1 and the number to the right becomes a 0. Round 3 to the nearest 10. 3 is below the midpoint. It is closer to 0 than it is to 10. Therefore, 3 would round down. To round down, keep the digit in the tens place the same. The number to the right then becomes 0. 3 rounded to the nearest 10 is 0. What about the number 5? Try rounding it to the nearest 10. 5 is the midpoint between 0 and 10, so the distance to both numbers is the same. As a rule, the number 5 always rounds up. Any number 5 or greater rounds up. The digit in the tens place increases by 1, and the number to the right becomes a 0. 5 rounded to the nearest 10 is 10. When a two-digit number is rounded to the nearest 10, the number in the tens place either rounds up or stays the same, depending on the number in the ones place. Suppose you want to round the number 26 to the nearest 10. Start by looking at the number in the tens place. It is 2. Now look at the number directly to the right, 6. 6 is greater than 5, so it rounds up. Add 1 to the tens place and put a 0 in the ones place. 26 rounds up to 30. This number line shows the numbers from 20 to 30. 26 is closer to 30 than to 20, so 26 rounds up to 30. You can use the same process to round a number to the nearest 100. Look at 621. Find the hundreds place. Look at the number directly to its right. 2 is not 5 or greater, so the digit in the hundreds place will stay the same rather than rounding up. The other digits become zeros. 621 rounded to the nearest hundred is 600. The rules for rounding apply no matter the place value. Look directly to the right of the place value you are rounding to. If the digit is 5 or greater, round up. If the digit is less than 5, the place you are rounding to stays the same. In both cases, the digits to the right are replaced with zeros.